Oh, it's you. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Man, we in the building, man. You touching the mic, man? Man, I'm over here trying to get it right. You got to sound right, man. You get like that, man. Trying to turn the shop boy TV. <laughs> Be like shot girl. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. Lord. Oh snap! But now we want that. Oh man. We are in the building, man. It Once again, like it's been a minute. It has, it has. But you know what I'm saying? We still be rocking. You know what I'm saying? We always be working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know I missed the last one. Special guest today. Mona Love, no doubt. That's you know right. <laughs> she just like. Hey, no. I don't know. Business like, woman. You not know a talker. Oh, you gonna talk on squad boy? We gonna get you to talk. Oh yeah, I'm gonna answer my questions. Let's do a little something. Yeah, Settle see, down, cause MT. all you saw was his. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> see see you know? what you're saying? Oh man. So you wanna dig in my archive, <laughs> but you didn't wanna preparate for the for Jazzy, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, see, all man. you saw was his. Yeah. All right. We two different people, two different questions. It's like, yo, what let's see what this is right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though. It's all good. What's popping, Mona? What's popping? What's going though, on, man? man? I'm just living out here. Love, man. One love more in the building, man. No doubt, man. What's happening, man? Shut them down and ENT, man. Exactly. First of all, let's tell them who Miss Mona Love is for those who don't know. Yeah. Well, originally, I'm, I mean, by day, I'm an officer. Okay. Um, well, actually, a sergeant now. Hey. And by, no you know, night, I pretty much shut them down, started off with promoting parties. Okay. okay. I started out doing parties. Um, cancer bashes, um, anything to that nature. Okay. okay. And then um, poetry was always a love from my dad. My dad used to write poetry. No doubt. Or, you know, write poems, semi poems, stuff like that. So you, you, so, had, you already had a passion <clears throat> for Always had a passion for poetry. So when Serica started doing it, um, she did it for about a year. So I was just like, hey, man, we got to bring that to Sebring. Mm -hmm. And then. We just linked up and brought her to Sebring. And at first, it was just me and her until we got the team together. So you are affiliated with Serica and Small Town yeah. Peace Poetry. Okay, so, okay. Cool. Okay. How does a person become a promoter? Pretty much, it's basically off the grind. <laughs> <laughs> basically off the grind. I mean, as we always say, is a 1% talent, 99% hustle. That's you know right. what I'm saying? You got to hustle That's to get big. it. So at the end of the day, anybody can be a promoter. Mm -hmm. You just got to want to grind for what you want. What be you dedicated do. to your business. Most definitely. Right. So what made you, Miss Mona, want to be a promoter? Like, Actually, like I said, it started off from doing parties. And as, as a kid growing up, my mom used to always let us have parties at home, in the house, yeah, like in yeah, the living yeah. room. I could watch house parties. So Let's see what you're doing. We always had <laughs> parties. And, you know, it was just me and my brothers. They were always older than me. So I just... I always like took liking what they do. Right. Mm -hmm. So I always just did parties as you know, time went. And it just branched off from there. Just, yeah. Like them rent parties. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls clubs. Yeah. Stuff like started that. Started expanding. Most started definitely. expanding into that grown folk era. You Most know definitely. what I mean? Yeah. No doubt, man. So for anybody who want to get a part of your business or want to be affiliated with your business, wants to know where it's at. Can you tell them where your business is located at? Pretty much, my business is just. Because I'm selfly owned or mm -hmm. whatever, okay. so my business is pretty much with me, my house. However, and where is um, that located? In Sebring, Florida. That way. <laughs> <laughs> so if they wanted to, you know, promote or do anything with me or link up with me, mm -hmm. it's easy to find me on Facebook, okay. Mona Love. Okay. Or you can just you plug know, them in. Plug them in. Inbox me. You know, DM all that good stuff. You okay. Know? So is it all the same, Mona Love? Mona Love. Okay. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. So what Producer. are the key tasks for um a promoter? What are the key tasks for a promoter? Key tasks for a promoter? Mm -hmm. Pretty much like you got to set your event, pretty much plan your events on what you're trying to do or right. what you're expected to do. Right. Um. As far as getting your flyers, grinding, putting them on cars, setting them out on whatever, your posters. It, it comes with a hustle. I mean, you can easily now just put, put it on a it. um, put it on a Facebook mm -hmm. and, and share it. But that's still not because a lot of people don't deal with Facebook. Yeah, I was right, gonna ask right. you. So you yeah, still got to go out there and hustle. You got to put, put that, that footwork, footwork in. in. You yes, still got to hit different locations, all the small towns. If you want to have a successful thing, went in Highlands County, you got to hit Polk County. You exactly. got to hit this city, that city. No doubt. So I mean, it takes a strong person. You got to want to do it. It ain't gonna just come to you. You got to want to do it. That's so, what you're saying, getting that hustle grind on. Right. Exactly. Starting this business, did you set goals and expectations for yourself to say, well, 
by this certain time, man, I want to go ahead and have this accomplished. That way I can know this is generating something towards yeah. what I got going exactly. on. Exactly. At first, it was just for fun, mm -hmm. <clears throat> to be honest with you, because yeah, I always had hood, corrections. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. at first, parties was just for fun. Then I, um, as time went, I'm more thrilled with poetry now okay. because you have so many promoters nowadays like hitting each other across the head or yeah. like don't want to work together. Yeah, and so poetry I'm, popping I'm off big. I'm more so on to um, poetry now. And like I said, it's always been a passion. Okay. So that's my thrill now. So my goal now within the poetry. Uh, vision of things. Yes, I have a set goal within like the next two years. I, I want to own my own venue. Right. And actually, it's kind of working out with the help of my brother. Okay. But um, nice. So the support is there. Right. So Shout out, bro, bro. Yeah, shout out. DK1 <laughs> Records, bad dad. Oh, D. And um, so at the end of the day, in the next two years, I, I really don't see myself going inside the prison facility. Right. But I will always be connected with it as far as teaching of some sort. Right. Now it's paying the bills, so we can't Most knock definitely. it. You know what I'm saying? Dope. It is what it is. So when you say shout out to my brother, DK1, who are you referencing to? Oh, I'm actually referencing to Nick. Oh, one drop. One drop. Baby Shout out eyes. drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We done had drop on the show, man. Shout yes, out drop, sure no did. doubt. You know what I'm saying? Him. D1K, you know what I'm saying? Doing always big. down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He lives down there. They family. sure do. Yeah, they, 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 be, they be popping down there. Small towns need poetry, too. Of course, it's, it's dealing with poetry, but so you also deal with more venues than just poetry. So you also dabble in music venues, like shows and stuff like that. Um... Do you plan on doing like any other kind of videos besides music and maybe poetry? Do you want to expand to something else besides that? Yes, my my vision mostly is like for youth. I I love to advance in something for the youth to do because right. when we grew up, we had things going on. Right. We had the youth center or the rec or right. stuff like that. That's right. And nowadays we still have it, but it's not how we used to. Mm. Have it's kind of it. died exactly. down. You know, everything yeah. now is more Bum so on um, money or more right. so on this and that. So my main vision now is to establish something for the youth to have something to do. Because they even go into the rec now with their phones and right, stuff, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and gaming and stuff. They ain't, they ain't even got yeah. nothing out there. So yeah. they don't get out and play. That's right. And stuff like that. Like, they it's too hot now. now. Yeah. <laughs> but, We're going to kick ball. And, well, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Baseball, yeah. You know, so that's my main vision. Like, I have a passion for kids. Yeah, no doubt, man. Kids the way, man. Kids the way, man. If you're dealing with kids, that's well, we always need to hook up Because I got a thing that, you know, Squad Boy TV been trying to Get these knuckleheads to jump on board and let's do some stuff. So we'll right, talk right, right, right. Yeah, because right, right. I don't want you know the listeners right, 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 and everybody right, right, see right. what's going on, but it hit them by surprise. So with Nick Drop being you know your sibling stuff, do you feel like with any of the D1K stuff, like helping them with any of the the things that they have going on? Actually, now we just now collided to say uh, me and him as a team. Okay, it, it's just became a. Uh, a collision at first he was doing his own thing and i was doing my own thing right but um in future endeavors we will be working together okay so okay are you guys setting something up because i know sometimes when family work together it can be a head button so oh most definitely most definitely but uh <laughs> <laughs> i see it in her face already be like look when we get to this point now future hey, look, endeavors, look uh, this is what we're gonna have to you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i mean we I, i'm kind of getting him on the court to where you know we have the boss and we had it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, you know what I mean? we're getting out. Everything we ironed out. Yeah. I don't even want to know who the boss is. <laughs> <laughs> we just going to move right along. Hey, drop, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that drop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You already know how you're rocking over here, cuz. <laughs> number love, number love. <laughs> nice. So just moving on. So I hear at the um, Small Town Poetry, the event that's going to be taking place August 26th. 26th? 26th. We're dressing the part. Most of most Lunch up, rate. Most up. Are we scanning people, making sure they look the part? Because everybody can't be wearing that little I mean, scampy stuff. Everyone doesn't have to dress the part. We're just promoting that, that we do. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. no. Let me rephrase that question. <laughs> we got pajamas we too now. Everybody ain't got to dress that part, but there's people that's going to feel like hmm, they can wear the part. And they. Ain't equipped to wear that. Like every big person ain't equipped to wear leggings, but some people wear them and they shouldn't. Just like hey man, some skinny people. Out, you know, you gotta hey, let rock out, man. I mean, we need everybody just to be confident in themselves. If they feel like they can wear it, yes. they can wear it. Yeah. It's all about yeah. I me. Mean, it's all about the arts. We, we making art. Pajama so lingerie and right? poetry. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> That's gonna be deep, man. Y'all playing, man. I'm I don't know building, about po- I don't know about pajamas because I'm seeing like lingerie. Like right. I've already picked out about six of them. Coming up with that grimace outside. outfit on. So y'all shopping for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, most dope. I mean, I got some changing ones. I'm like, you know, change. So you gonna change? <laughs> Wow. Dang. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff for this. I got two big okay. running cameras and stuff. It ain't about me. It's about y'all promoting y'all. Most definitely. Most I'm definitely. coming in number straight squad boy. We got squad boy lingerie. Oh, yeah. Coming soon. <laughs> I was going to say, bye. You got me then. Bye. Hey, I could throw something together real quick. Walmart iron ons and stuff. Right, Maybe. right. We can start selling right out there. Make a little crop top. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't iron my name on your panties. <laughs> Don't iron my name on your panties. No, man. That's what's up, though, man. I'm just saying. Walk around the underwear with Squad Boy on the back. Whose is it, Squad Boy? Ah, dang. Wow. That sounds like a gang. That's a... I might need my name on the end just like that. <laughs> nah, we don't want to sit there and get ourselves in trouble. Oh, my God. How much work has gone into doing this one? Particularly, I know um, what the last, I want to say, maybe two I've been to each one has been different and to me I've enjoyed each one but what is the thought process in to putting this together say hey you know what this time we want to do it like this way and this time we want to do it that way well the, the last couple shows had had its own differences mm-hmm. at first we were at uh Sino's shooters whatever however right. you want to call it yeah and around the time we did that show that particular show it was a killing at the club that particular weekend Night. before. Oh, okay. Uh, so that kind of eliminated people coming yeah, to yeah. shows that was there. It kind of eliminated other people coming as far as, you know, Who don't people don't right. attend yeah. clubs and stuff like that. Yeah. So we changed the venue to Senior Jalapenos, and that was kind of an issue too due to the fact of time factor. He didn't yeah. close the restaurant until 8 o'clock. So when we come in, we still got people eating um a certain time he want to close etc so it couldn't expand and do whatever we need to do so now i'm really you know thankful that uh dk1 has assisted to help us and that <laughs> no, <laughs> we can pretty much have our show and rock out okay so okay. the show is taking place at, at the, the DK warehouse, warehouse. Yeah. now how does that go into factor that saying that people to go out there that oh far? promotion promotion most definitely yeah it will be a flyer dropping today Okay, but I'm—I mean, what am I getting at? Is saying people might be like, "Well, that's too far. I don't want to go way out there." I mean, hey, if they support you, they support you. Support oh, that support. part. How is I'm telling you, you guys definitely so need to be in there. So I don't care where it's at. You need to go. I went how's... when you guys was in Arcadia. Most definitely, and that was my first one that mm-hmm. you know we attended to um, with Phil Mob. And actually, with this show, because sex sells itself. <laughs> You know, Especially, you know, say so, lingerie and dressing the Right, part. so <laughs> sex sells itself. So yeah. when it comes to our erotic shows, we don't really worry about them because it sells itself. Yeah, it does. Now, other shows, we have to push more. Mm. But, um, so besides the women, because I know the men are like, well, I'm there because women. Is there any eye candy for the ladies? Oh, yeah, most definitely. We got a lot in store at this show. I can't give you all the details, but we have a lot. In Thank store you. You can't get all the details, Jazz. Try to get show. all the details. Hey, I'm just trying to make sure. I mean, both it's going to be a whole different level. I trying mean, to see the man take off that, his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is our um, two year anniversary, so mm-hmm. we're pretty much turning it up. I mean, it's going to be on a whole nother level. Sarah could be turning up all the time, man. I oh, be sitting. Well, she be yes. live. Yo, man, shout yeah. out to Sarah too, man. She yes, be live yeah. on that, man. How is it working with her? How how kind of person she is? Sarah, I mean, Sarah's like family. <laughs> I mean, we we always have to distinguish work and family. That's right. Sarah's family. I've known Sarah for probably like eleven years now. Right. Um, we started out working together, and um, you know, family things and et cetera. That's what's up. So, it's more family business all together. It's you, all love. Do y'all talk like all the time? Oh, me and Sarah talk. Daily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she said daily. Daily. Be, I mean, but that's part of the business. That's right. I mean, when something crosses your mind, you got to hit up. Hey, that's, that's let's right. do this. Or let's try this, et cetera. So when you have a team, we talk daily. Our, that's our right. team uh, have conference calls every Wednesday, okay. et cetera. So, I mean, we're pretty much on board. It's going to be a lot in store for the next year upcoming. That's what's up, man. That's great, man. I'm glad y'all building up like that, man. Communities really need that going on right now, man. That's a great I really thing. had like a... You know, pleasure in doing a commercial for your last 
event that took place in Senior Jalapenos. Okay, most definitely. So I shot out a commercial real quick, and we sunk it. And I know she played it on her site as well as us played it. It was really mm. cool, really dope. Because like I said, I had a really good time. And then my boy Dog Week came to the next one, which I know he loved to. I had to leave a little early. Oh, okay. Um, due to yeah, work. it was a good show. It was a good show. That was but a Senior Jalapenos. Really, yes. But yeah, we got, we got a lot of love stuff. And like I said, they keep out. getting better and better, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. What was what, what is what is what is one thing you remember about one of your shows? One of the craziest things you remember about one of your shows that just make you be like, God, that's why I do this right here. Wow. Jazzy came on that one with Phil Mom. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm promoting. Phil, promoting Phil myself. Mom, I feel you. I Phil feel Mom you. was, you know, one of the best shows thus far. Okay. And honestly, because they were just supposed to come on later within the show, but it actually they came on and just did their thing mm-hmm. throughout the whole show. And at first, I'm like, sir, they only supposed to come on do the. And she, we just had to roll with it because they were ready. I mean, they promoted the whole show. <laughs> so they was like, they was hosting I mean, yeah, yeah, most okay. definitely. Yeah. Most okay. definitely. And they okay. only were supposed to come do their performance. So at the end of That's the love. day, I mean, yeah, it all love. worked out yeah, within it itself. Mm-hmm. So that was, that was about the most craziest thing because me, I'm so prompt and so like correction officer minded to where right, right. I was kind of like, What's going on? It's out yeah, of, it's out like, of pocket it's out right of now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because so, you're out of work, so yeah, now well, that's a good thing. <laughs> so I'm like, certain shoes, like, oh, it's going to be cool. Like, yeah, it, it was. The, yeah, the yeah, flow and it turned yeah, out yeah. great, right? Yeah, that it was. No doubt, I mean, man. they was really humble because they even stayed there, made sure in and everyone who wanted to take pictures with them, right, they got right. pictures. They, talk, they even stole my phone and was on my video live. Like, yeah, this film mom, we on Jazzy's phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out to like, In future what? endeavors, like, we have, really you know, cool. we're going to be bringing more artists to the area. Um, actually, DK1 is actually going to be um, hand-in-hand with small towns as well. So That's we'll nice. be doing nice. a lot of... Um, a lot of new adventures. And D1K, they got some good artists over there. Most they got, definitely. They got, they got, they got Berg and Vito and all them, man. So shout out to them, man, for doing big Scooby, things over there, all man. Of them. Yeah, man, Scooby making moves, man. I just I just hit up school the other day. Hey, he so. hit me back. Yo, hit me back, boy. <laughs> no doubt, man. So if you could work with anybody right now, like anybody, as far as poetry, maybe music or whatever, who would be somebody you would want to work with right now? If I could write with anybody, hey, anybody, anybody out there, out there, inspirational. I'm gonna say I'm alive always, or not. I'm always <clears throat> open to new things and learning new adventures. But as far as working, I most definitely would keep my team. You keep your team. Most definitely. Well, that's solid, boy. Boy, you heard that? Boy, that's some solid stuff right there, most man. Most But I'm stay on the squad, open. man. <laughs> always open for new things, new adventures. But I most definitely will bring my team along. Did I say DK one? DK1, they yeah, part of us yeah, too. Small towns. Hey, man, I ain't messing y'all D1K. name up, man. I know y'all boys gangsters, man. D1K. Be, you know what I'm saying? We already had Nick Drop get on us one oh, time yeah. through social media. He was like, it's D1K. <laughs> <laughs> he was texting, right? Yeah, he was texting. He, was he texting correct us. me too all the time. That way, man. Shout out. To we, they know who we talking about, man. Hey, Let's they leave. know. No doubt, man. So support is big. Support is real right, big. How right, is right. How's your support with all this going on right now? As far as my support with it, I mean, I'm most definitely going to support everybody's hustle if that's what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, everybody got to see what going, what's better or what's going to work for them. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to support you until, you, you know, you show me different. That's right. If you show me different, then that's when I can't work does with it, you. Does it come back? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It most does. definitely. I mean, you, you have your good and your bad that's right. within the business. That's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. But <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all love. I mean, that's what's I have up, no, man. No like, ill feelings towards anything. That's what's up, man. You got to keep it positive, exactly. man. It's a positive move, man. Positive industry, man. Exactly, exactly. I know earlier you were saying about like doing a venue and stuff like that. What venue is it that you're trying to get to? Or would you like to see yourself in the next two to three years from now? Like I said, my my passion is the kids. So eventually, I want to set up something pretty much like a, a kids outreach to where they can have to come from school or something to do as far as like get on laptops, do your homework, like stuff art like school that. or something like yeah, that. And I mean, performance, do but whatever I mean, they enjoy. If somebody came to you right now, just Jay Z or somebody said, "I'm gonna invest all this money to you into you, and you can set your venue up anywhere you want to set it up at." I got you. I got the money for you. Where would you have that venue at? Right here in my hometown. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bring it all here. Right here. That's what I'm talking about. Bring the lights here, boy. Most definitely. Bring the lights here, shining on the people that need to be shining. Most definitely. No doubt, man. That's love. Nothing wrong with that. That's big, man. 
Hey, hit them with them social sites, man. Yes, Let people know where they can find you at, man. Oh, yeah, no you doubt, can hit man. me up on Facebook, Mona Love. Also, um, Instagram, Mona Love as well. That way. Um, I pretty much don't do Snap that much. I ain't real big on that. You don't um, Snap? Nah, I ain't, no I snap. ain't real big on IG stuff on either. Snap. Um, but that's the most definite way you can find me. We also got Small Towns Named Portrait. We have that page as well. Okay. Shut Them Down Entertainment has a page too, but I really don't rock with it like that. Okay. Um. Well, but we that's where you can locate. We know we can find you. At. Most definitely, most definitely. Now I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to go left right here, man, but I was all on your page and stuff like that, like them, <laughs> them instant, the internet dudes and stuff. Man, you was in the Bahamas, man. Most I'm finna give you like I get on her. Where my tickets at, man? What you mean get on? Where my tickets at, man? Like I seen them flexing jet skis and yeah, like on the sand and toes and ah, man. It was like birthday weekend, birthday month. You know, I celebrate. So when's your birthday? What was the rental car? What was the what was the rental car? My rental car was a Tesla. I'm like, hey, are y'all serious? Yeah, right, right. I'm like, no. My birthday was I thought you was playing, man. Wow. And out. And like I said, I was, I was so in Hawaii. Now they ganging Hawaii up. Now they high fiving over here now. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all don't win over. Where are my tickets, women? <laughs> you talking about? See what I'm talking about? Stay focused. We are, no, we need tickets, people. Oh, man. Squad boy, shut them down. Hitting it up next July. Most of. Uh, yeah, I'm hey, keeping you on that. I'm, I'm keeping already you. playing. Next July, man. We out of here, man. Don't even worry about that, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I already told y'all, man, we can hit Vegas up. Most up. You and Damon, man. Damon. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> Tired of y'all going on vacation. <laughs> uh, shout out my dog, man. No oh. So Moan, 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 Moan. Listen, it's been an honor to have you here, man. It's been oh. nothing but love. Um, the next show is Small Tiny Poetry's 2, Pajamas, Lingerie, and Poetry Party, right? Most definitely. 26. Second year anniversary. That way, August that way. 26. Definitely, y'all really need to be in the building. Really, really, really. I'm telling you, the shows just keep getting better and better and better. If you don't believe, I'm, I'm telling you. It's really good show, man. Good, really good. artists. Um, positive cast, man. Good promotion. Shout out to Serica, no doubt, man. Exactly. It's real big, man. Anybody that want to know about it, man, just go on these people's pages. Go on Mona pages. Y'all can check us out at Squad Boy TV, my girl Jazzy, um, Serica, man. Y'all go and check that out, man. It's going to be a big show, man, down in Seaburn, Florida, August 26th. That's right, August 26th, man. Make sure y'all check that out. What is the time it is? At 8.30? Doors open at 7.30. Show starts at 8.30. Y'all heard it right there, man. It's Squad Boy TV, man. We're rocking out, man. No doubt, man. Mona, tell me what we doing, man. Most definitely. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>